The pitching motion is a, a complex mechanical event. We think about the arm, but it actually includes the whole body. So we talk about this kinetic chain, which goes from your foot to your hand and the ball, where your whole body is involved in this mechanical construct that creates tremendous momentum so that you can pitch a baseball at a high velocity. And when you're going through the motion, there are different phases, and there's a phase called the cocking phase, where the arm is, comes way back like this with a lot of external rotation of the shoulder and extension, and it puts a lot of force on the inner side of the elbow. And that force is supported by the ulnar collateral ligament and the muscles in the forearm. So if you're in that position and you're overloading it, the actual the force that's generated with a thr pitching throw is actually greater than the mechanical force than the ligament can stand on its own. So there's an ulnar collateral ligament reconstruction, which was first, uh, the procedure was first developed by Frank Job in California, and he did it on Tommy John. And in order to reconstruct the ligament, what he did was he used a tendon in his forearm called the palmaris longus tendon. And Tommy John went on to have an illustrious career after the surgery, and Dr. Job became famous for that procedure. We tell the patients it's gonna be a year to get to the end result. It might be longer, but if you're a pitcher, we're not gonna cut it shorter and say, let's try to see if we can push it a little bit. Uh, you're really taking a big risk by trying to get back early. It's worth it to take that time. The number of pitchers that we are seeing with ulnar collateral ligament problems through all ages is going up and up, and the number of pitchers that are having ligament reconstruction surgery is increasing every year. I do think it's better to never have the problem in the first place, having a more balanced life. The pitchers who came up 20, 30, 40 years ago, they weren't playing baseball all the time. There wasn't the organization, there weren't travel teams. It wasn't quite as intensive, and you didn't have kids uh, playing in different organizations so that they were overtaxing themselves. For a lot of the younger uh, pitchers, and probably some of the older pitchers, they don't have the right mechanics. They're not strong enough. Their core strength isn't strong enough. The idea is really to use your full body to develop the momentum and velocity and control as opposed to just throwing with your arm. The overall body conditioning is probably the most important thing. And also to be very balanced about how you condition. You know, you're not just lifting weights with your upper body, but you're strengthening your legs. Your legs and your core are really important probably more than how strong your upper body is. Some of the classic pitchers were not strong. They weren't, you know, buff as you would say, but they had the mechanics.